I went down to the BBC studios in Landeff to meet up with Barry Bourne weatherman and meteorologist Derek Brockway. So what first sparked your interest for becoming a meteorologist? Uh, well, it all began many years ago. It was a very hot summer. It was the summer of 1976, which was uh, very hot. Big heat wave, drought, all the reservoirs started drying up. Um, there was grass fires and uh, lots of people hitting the beach, of course, and having fun. Um, it was the hottest summer at the time for about 300 years, and that's what sparked my interest in the weather. And I started recording the weather, had a thermometer in my garden. Um, it was a big news story in the newspapers, on the television, um, the big drought. We had our water turned off for up to 18 hours a day, so I had to share bath water with my sister, um, which uh, wasn't very nice. Um, and I just became fascinated by the weather, and I knew then at uh, age eight, growing up in Barry, during this fantastic summer, that I wanted to be a weatherman when I grew up. In terms of green screen, how hard is it for you to like conduct the weather of it? Ah, the good old green screen, or the, or the blue screen. Um, it is it is uh, a bit different to uh, in the main studio where we have plasma, so I can see the map behind me. But when you have uh, when you're working with a green screen or a blue screen, there is nothing behind you. Uh, so you you well, you can see yourself in the camera uh, in front of you. So that helps you to kind of point. But it, it is quite difficult. It is quite a, um, a skill to kind of know where to point because it, you can. It takes some it takes some getting used to because you could think you're pointing to Anglesey and actually you're, you're sticking your hand into the RSC um, and you can't wear if you if you're standing um, in front of a green screen you can't wear green and a few weeks ago um, the director that was directing me for the weather um, did notice that I was standing in front of a green screen wearing a green suit and a green tie so half of me disappeared and I had lots of messages on Twitter saying your tie has come alive and it was shining and they could see the Welsh map so um, I actually prefer working with a plasma screen because you can see the map behind you. Yeah. You've done a lot you know you've published books and things like that are there any other career paths that you want to start going down or? Well, it was always my ambition, as I said, to, to, uh, to be a weatherman um, growing up in Barry as a young boy. So uh, I'm very lucky to do the job I do. Um, it's my dream job. Uh, I never thought that I would end up working in television or writing books and making walking programmes. So I'm very privileged um, and it's fantastic. I've, I've, it's given me the opportunity to travel around Wales and see some wonderful places, learn lots of new things, meet some wonderful people and learn about the history of our country as well. Um, we've got another book out this summer, another 18 walks, and and yes, we've got uh, another series of Weatherman Walking, Series 7, uh, would you believe? I can't believe it. Um, and it's, well, it's all thanks to the, uh, the people of Wales who tune in. Obviously, it's a popular programme, and, uh, you know, people like getting out and about and walking and enjoying the fresh air and seeing what... How, what a beautiful country what Wales is. Um, so uh, I've been very lucky in my career uh, and I uh, hope it will continue for a few more years yet. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, weather forecasting is my bread and butter job. Mm -hmm.